This guy left a comment under one of my videos and he simply says, uh, oh, it was under my, my pull away test video, the most popular one. And so this guy left a message under my pull away test video and he says, uh, thanks for this really clear and understandable explainer. I've been out of the dating scene for a while and forgot about a lot of these basics. So I failed a couple and lost the girl. When you're in it and all the logic falls out, your emotions really do kick in and you do the exact wrong thing. You think you're showing her that you care, but you're really waving red flags and ladies have a lot of options that haven't waved one, even if they're not trying. Uh, well, and that's, that's true. And so, you know, part of the reason that it's important to be regularly studying the videos that I put out or, or joining the Introvert Dating Success Academy community to, to listen to audiobooks and ebooks is because you want to have this stuff so ingrained in your brain that when you finally get a girlfriend and things inevitably will come up, she's going to have a complaint of some kind, or she's going to bring something to your attention, or she's going to start pulling away from you. If you have this knowledge already in your head about what to do next, then you're not going to be flying by the seat of your pants trying to think of a solution or trying to think of an action to do or a thing to say that's going to eventually cause you to mess up, right? Because to, to his point, when you're, you know, you could be doing everything right in the beginning, right? You could be listening to all my stuff and putting all my stuff into play to get a woman. And then you're like, okay, I got it. This is so great, man, blah, blah, blah. But during that time period, those first couple of months, there's not going to be a lot of emo emotional turmoil that happens. So it's going to be very easy to stick to the things that I'm talking about. But then inevitably that first thing's going to come up and she's going to say a thing or do a thing and you're going to feel it hit at your emotions. Now, when you were doing this stuff before, nothing was really hitting at your emotions other than just the lovey-dovey feelings that she was giving you because you guys were hooking up, she was kissing you, it felt all great, she smelled good, whatever, right? But now you come to a moment of turmoil and you're thinking, okay, what should I do? Well, Harry said, do this thing. Oh, but that's not going to work. And, but there's a chance that what he said isn't going to work. So I'm going to try this thing instead. So for example, this guy, like when a woman pulls away, your instinct is going to say, I should reach out to her. I should, you know, try to convince her or explain to her why she shouldn't go away and talk about why it is we match so well together. Or maybe I'll reach out and I'll apologize for, I don't know what I necessarily did, but I figure an apology is going to get me back in her good graces. And I tell you guys, if you just leave her alone, she'll eventually come back. I, I literally just did a whole video yesterday where I talked about this guy that came to my channel and said, Hey Harry. So, uh, I've been talking to this girl. We went on a couple of dates. She said, she, she flicked on the third one and said, Hey, we shouldn't see each other anymore. And my response was, I took your response, Harry, and said, Hey, so, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know, best of luck to you. And if you change your mind, hit me up, but it's been like two days. What should I do? And then he waited. And then she reached out and said, Hey, let's go out again. So he listened to what I was saying, but he said, Am I, are you sure your stuff works? Because I don't know. And that's the thing. When you're not in the practice of having done this stuff a couple of times, it, it can be very easy to suddenly forget all the stuff you're learning and try to go back to the old ways of doing things, even if those old ways weren't working, because those are what's most comfortable to you. And so I don't ever say that the stuff I'm teaching you guys, when you put it into practice, is going to initially be comfortable. It's gonna feel like it's not really who you are. It's gonna feel a bit weird at times. You're gonna be sitting there wondering, okay, Harry said not to text her for four days, but I'm so used to texting a girl the next day. Oh my God, this feels so nerve wracking. But if all I say is this, if what you were doing before was not working, you don't, you're not going to do any worse by trying my stuff, you know? So if you were texting women a lot before and you weren't getting results, and then you decide this time to listen to me and to wait a few days, you may get the same results, in which case you're back at square zero. But there's also a chance that you could get better results. And so a lot of times, you know, it's not a matter of you forget about what you're learning. It's about your emotions hit you when you're unexpecting it and you're suddenly like floundering again versus just looking at, okay, Harry gave me a life raft. Let me just count on his life raft. She brought up this thing where she's asking about my past. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Should I tell about all the people I hooked up with before? Oh wait, no, Harry said like, say things this way so you don't have to do that. Okay, I'll try it out. Like, it's gonna feel weird. You're gonna be thrown off kilter, but that's the thing. 
these things are all about you being tested and about being able to see that the things that you're learning actually work. And so sometimes that means when emotional things come your way, you gotta bypass the emotion of it and say, okay, but I have a plan in place. Let me just try this plan. At worst, if the plan doesn't work, I can always go back to what I was doing that didn't work, or I could find another thing that would work better, but let me at least try this out, you know? And so I'm glad that guy wrote that because again, I even at the age that I'm at, you know, I still have moments where I'm like, oh crap, okay, I know I should be doing this thing, but like, it really feels weird doing it, and then it ends up working, you know? So just wanted to point that out to you guys that maybe on this journey towards trying to figure out, you know, when things are suddenly going wrong and you start feeling your logic going out of your head to go back to that logic. Because at the end of the day, yes, it's good to have an emotional center as a, as a guy, but also your logic is going to be the thing that's going to get you through a lot better than if you become the overly emotional one in these various situations. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class.